go here, start. Here we know the standard deviation. The standard deviation sigma is known to be three. This is the population standard deviation. We use D stat with summary. Here we have a summary. The sample mean is, the sample mean was 26. The standard deviation was known and it was three. And the sample size, 64 homes, 64. We are going to check if this mu is more than 25. So here is more than, and here is 25. And I'm going to use a level of significance of 0 0.10. So I'm going to show the critical value and 0 0.10. I'm going to make a p-value plot. Okay. And compute. If you want to see the plot, you need to click here at the bottom. This is the plot that I have here. Where is the value? Important things are here, yeah? They have the mean, mu, n equals 64. The sample mean was 26. The standard error was 0 0.375. The standard error is this here. Three over square root of 64. Sigma divided by square root of n. This is the standard error. The Z stat, 2.66. In this case, we use the critical Z, that was 1.28. This critical Z, we are going to use it to compute this value here, to compute the X bar. Since this is bar is not given, you need to find it using the formula. If they ask you for X bar critical value, the Z was 1.28, put it here. And after you have the critical value, this Z critical value, you can find the X bar critical value using this formula. So solving for X bar. In this question, you will need to work a little. If they ask you what is the X bar critical value, you need to use this formula. Most of the cases, they ask you is just the Z critical value. For example, let's solve this. The company that package oatmeal uses an automatic filling machine that is set so that the mean fill volume is 16 ounces. So here, stat, C is that, because in this problem, I know the population standard deviation. They tell me here, the machine has a known standard deviation equal to 0 0.422 ohms. If they tell you something has a known standard deviation is because they know the population standard deviation. So stat, Z stat, one sample with summary. We are making hypothesis. The sample mean was 16.2. Sample mean was 16.2. 16.2. The standard deviation was 0 0.422, 0 0.422. The sample size was 49 boxes, 49. I noted that the alternative hypothesis was mu no equal than 16. So no equal than 16. So 16 will be the number at this. And then show critical value. And I'm going to use a level of significance of 0 0.8 will be this. And the p-value, so you want to check the, the, the p-value plot. And compute. So here are the answers. The sample mean, 16.2. The standard error, remember, the standard error is sigma divided by square root of n. So 0 0.422 divided by the square root of 49. So the square root of 49 is 7. This divided by 7 is this number here. The z stat, 3.317. And the critical value is 1.64. Okay, this is the solution. You can see here that the p-value is very small. It's 0 0.0009. You just need to check to see the, the p-value to reject. The computer find the p-value. And if the p-value is smaller than this 0 0.10, then we reject the null hypothesis for sure. It will be a rejection. There is enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis and accept, obviously, the alternative, that mu is not equal to 16.